one of my favorite YouTubers, Zanny of the Coolest, has requested a recipe that utilizes olives. She says that she loves olives. And if I like olives, she wants to know if I know any recipes. And it just so happens that I love olives. You know, I mean, I grew up, you know, surrounded by olives. My mom was an olive freak. You know, she was always, she, I mean, this is a recipe that I, this is a family recipe. And my mother used to make this all the time for lunch and for dinner. And sometimes as an in-between meal treat, you know, late at night or sometimes in the morning, you know, kind of, you know, to jumpstart the day. And it's very simple. But I like to use a couple of mason jars. I like to use a little one and a big one. And you see, I got the big one already got a little bit of ice in there. And I like to keep the small one in the refrigerator, you know, cooling it down for when I'm ready to use it. And of course, you're going to need some olives. And I like to use the big olives. You know, the nice fat, you know, I like my olives to look like they're on steroids. You know, I don't want the little dini, uh, you know, little train that could olives. I like the big Japanese super train olives. And you know, you can get them with uh, garlic stuffed in them or jalapenos or almonds or something like that. But I like the uh, traditional type of, uh, you know, pimento big ass olive. Love those things. So what you want to do is you want to take your big jar and you want to put a little splash of dry vermouth in there. You know, not too much, you know. And then you want to throw some vodka in there. Now, if you're college educated or you like to wear nice clothes, then I recommend like a Kettle One or Grey Goose, something like that. But if you're a regular guy like me, then you might want to try the Smirnoff Half Gallon. And basically, you just go ahead and uh, throw a few fingers of that in there. And you don't have to use a mason jar. You know, you can use any kind of jar, glass, whatever you like. But, uh, you know, this is the way my mama used to make it, so it kind of brings back some pleasant memories for me. You just kind of shake it up, swirl it around, and what it's going to do is it's going to chill out in there, you know, with that ice. And this is where using a mason jar really comes in handy. Because you can just go ahead and uh, do that little lid like that and pour it in your little jar. And that'll keep the ice in there. That's how the professionals do it. They like to they like to do that Tom Cruise thing. Now I like to go ahead and throw like three or four or five or six or something olives in there. Some people like to put them on a on a toothpick, but I never got toothpicks. I never understood toothpicks. So I don't know if you've ever tried this, but uh, it's one of my favorites. And if and if you folks out there haven't checked out Xania. Uh, then you might want to do that. Her and her uh, music partner, uh, Steven, they formed the band Trike. And, uh, it's one of my favorite uh, outfits on the YouTube. So, uh, so that's it. So thanks, Mom, for the recipe. I think she used to call this a boiler maker. Uh, I should go to college and maybe upgrade my vodka. Thank you.